Hey guys, back with another video. This time we're going to do it uh, vlogging style. So um, this is my new build. Uh, I've got the red for a very long time, but uh, yeah, it was always in the living room. So uh, yeah, the the system, the 900D case, was a little bit too big for um, yeah for in the living room. So uh, I've built a new one, and uh, it's like uh, tiny red. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, so uh, first we're gonna see um, the build on Instagram, I uh, posted a few f uh, pictures of uh, all the components and everything, so um, without further ado, I will uh, show you. So here is the new build, as you can see, it's better like this, yeah. This is the new build, it's currently uh, running some benchmarks, as you can see. So it's the Skydriver benchmark from TDGD Mark. So here you can see it's the HyperX Savage SSD. It's the 480 gigabyte. Here you got the cool EVGA GeForce 980 Ti video card, and it's the 4 to win. This 4 to win uh, version. So it's a little bit overclocked. I got the Corsair H100i. V2, this is version 2. I got the uh, Corsair LPX uh, memory, which is uh, 60 gigabytes, it's more than enough for me. And you see the SROC X99M 3.1 uh, motherboard with the dual NIX. Um, yeah, if uh, Windows 8 comes with an update, then uh, we actually can use the two NICs because um, yeah with Windows 10 I don't know if you know it but there's a problem with the link aggregation and everything but okay and there in the top you will see is the bit Phoenix fan so uh, yeah it's a quite a good fan but not really great but okay I've got the cable uh, from uh, bit Phoenix they are um, extension cables, so that's not really that good for this case because cable management is a bummer in this thing. It got no room at all at at the back. So, uh, but yeah, got the NZXT Q Plus um, controller there. You can see some extension cables there, and you got the LEDs here. We got one LED that is bad, so um, yeah, the green and the red one works, but the blue doesn't. So that's a bit of a problem. I have to do an RMA for that, but okay. Yeah, you gotta see. There's my 24 pin rated cable, also an extension. And there's another Pete Phoenix fan. It's just because uh, the thing, the damn thing is. Running so hard with benchmarks and gaming that uh, it's really a problem. Uh, I got the big Phoenix icon logo is not on because I don't have enough uh, enough um, USB headers on my motherboard, so I got to find a splitter or something like that because uh, I've got the NZXT U controller on the USB plug and the pump from the H100i. So um, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem, but okay. I got the, the PSU, it's from uh, Corsair 2, it's the HX750i, it's more than enough for one video card. And here you got everything, so the power button, reset button, USB 3.0 and everything, you guys know this. And this is where I stash the 3.5 one terabyte 3 blue hard drive and the Bit Phoenix fan, as you can see. It's a good thing with uh, this yeah, style of, um, I can see, yeah, so you can click it and then it will be better than ever, but there's a little bit of a problem if you push it down and you're not careful, you push the button of the reset button, so yeah, that's a little bit of a shame, but okay. If you can see, I'm gonna. If you see, this is my cable management because there's no more room for any other cables. The rest of the bunch is 
inside the case because the damn thing won't fit and will not close if you do more cables than this but okay it's not really I have to hammer it down wait a little second it's not really that um, that of a uh, problem but okay I don't uh, mind that but overall it's a pretty good build it got Oh yeah, I didn't say, I got the processor, the Intel i7 uh, 5820K, so it's overclocked by, um, I think now, 4.4 um, GHz, because um, if I go any higher than that, it go gives a lot of problems, but I have to sort that out, I don't know what the hell is going on, because on my big red build, um, of course it was uh, custom cooled, water cooled, but yeah, I can. I was hitting that on 4.6, 4.7, no problem. So yeah, gonna see about that. But overall, I'm uh, pretty pleased of the of this build, and uh, I hope you uh, like it too. And if you want more videos like this, like me vlogging, just uh, a little bit talking to you guys, then let me know in the comments down below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.